kapatiran sa kasaganaan, service and multi-purpose cooperative. In simple terms, gusto lang ho namin magbigay ng oportunidad sa inyo para gumaan o magkaroon ng mas magandang kinabukasan sa larangan ng inyong financial security. We provide information and fulfillment facility for you to get into actual investments, both buy and lend, that will contribute to your active and most definitely passive income. Ano yung KSK Co-op? Kapatiran sa Kasaganaan Service and Multipurpose Cooperative. It's a cooperative initiated by overseas Filipino workers in Hong Kong. Inumpisan ho ito noong 2004 sa Hong Kong pagkatapos ng series of financial literacy seminars na ginawa ng Colaico Foundation. It's a primary service and multipurpose cooperative. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? Lalo na yung primary. Ang ibig sabihin ng primary cooperative, ang mga membro niya ay natural persons. Meaning, Kung sinabi pong 1,500 ang members ng KSK Co-op, merong 1,500 unique individuals. Hindi po pwede ang grupo, asosasyon, organization, or other cooperatives to be members of KSK SMP Co-op. Kailangan natural persons. Since it's a duly registered and recognized cooperative here in the Philippines, registered in the co with the Cooperative Development Authority, ang mga miyembro niya kailangan Filipino. The common bond among members ng KSK Co-op ay associational, meaning basta kayo ay OFW, dating OFW, or kapamilya ng isang OFW, pwede ho kayo maging member ng KSK Co-op. The past Six years of existence ng KSK Co-op, it has been given five times Certificate of Good Standing. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng Certificate of Good Standing na binibigay ng Cooperative Development Authority? Hindi po ibig sabihin nito na ang pinakamagaling na kooperatiba ay ang KSK Co-op. Simply, sinasabi lang po dito na yung KSK Co-op ay laging sumusunod, dumudulog sa Cooperative Development Authority sumusunod sa mga patakaran ng Cooperative Code of the Philippines at laging sinasubmit any required documents by the government agency that looks after cooperatives, which is the Cooperative Development Authority. Ano po ang inaalok ng KSK ko? Under buy type of investments and under lend type of investments, yung mga sumusunod. I will go through each one, buy investment offerings of KSK Co-op. Yung pagsali nyo pa lang po sa KSK Co-op is a buy type of investment. Bumibili kayo ng isang parte ng KSK Co-op or one share, halimbawa, isang parte ng KSK Co-op. Ang pagbili ng isang pagmamayari ng KSK Co-op or one share ng KSK Co-op is 1,000 pesos. Ang minimum number of shares that you can buy is one share. The maximum is 1,000 shares. Bakit ka bumibili ng uh, pagmamayari ng KSK Co-op? Simply put, because KSK Co-op owns and co-owns the following businesses. KMP Foods, a rural bank in Cavite City, and a holding company that is going through real estate development. Nagumpisa po ang KSK Co-op noong 2004. Makikita niyo po sa slide, as of 2005, we have given 6% stock dividend paid out to the member. 2006, 7%. 2007, 12%. So, mula na nag-umpisa po ang KSK Co-op, ay nakapagbigay na, lalo na doon sa mga pioneer, a total of about 25% growth sa kanilang 1,000 pesos per share. Noong 2008, Global financial crisis, makikita po, dito ma malinaw, a good manifestation of value of a buy type of investment declining. Katulad ng nangyari sa KSK Co-op. Noong 2009, there was a recovery but still below the 1,000 pesos per share. 2010, with a complete recovery and a little more, 
uh, tumaas by 1.14% ang halaga ng 1,000 pesos per share ng KSK Co. Ano po lumago ang uh, value ng inyong shares KSK Co? Dahil ang kooperatiba, just like any entity, is actually a business entity. Meaning it is established to profit or to give uh, income eventually for its members or owners. The gross revenue or yung perang lahat na pumasok sa KSK Co-op, less its operating expenses, will give you your net surplus. According to the Cooperative Code of the Philippines, kung positive ang inyong net surplus, merong 30% na automatic deduction for your reserve fund, education fund, social fund. Only 70% of the net surplus is given out as dividend distributed to the member based on the number of shares an individual has in KSK Co-op. Currently, the sources of gross revenues for KSK Co-op are the following. These are the projected revenues for 2011. Uh, almost three quarters have passed. Ito po yung projected revenue niya for year 2011. With this projection and a budget of 6 million for expenses, we hope to have a net surplus of 3 million pesos. With 3 million pesos, we are hoping to give out a 3.5% growth or dividend per share. Again, this is just projection. It is not fixed, it is not guaranteed, it is not insured, just like any buy type of investments. The number of members joining per year are shown on the screen. Last year, 2010, was a banner year for KSK Co-op, having had the most number of new members with 331 coming in for year 2010. As of end of August, we have surpassed our 2010 record and we have 421 new members coming in as of end of August. We hope with the help of technology like this webinar and the cooperation of the current members, even you listening in this webinar, you can help spread the word about KSK Co-op and meet our target of 1,000 new members for year 2011. The breakdown of uh, members per country are shown on the screen. As of end of June, since we started KSK Co-op in Hong Kong, half of the members are still majority in Hong Kong. Close to 30% are based here in the Philippines. Middle East is following third and in 21 other countries. Because of technology like the internet, the web, and the Facebook, and now with the webinar, we hope to get more members from these countries and other countries as well. The type of memberships in KSK Co-op are the following, associate and regular. Ano hong pagkakaiba? Simply lang, everything the same except for two things. Associate member, you can be an associate member with just one share. If you, are, if you want to be a regular member, to get that right to vote during general assemblies, you should have a minimum of 70 shares. So those who are joining one share to 69 shares, you are limited to associate type of membership, having no right to vote during general assemblies. But everything else, the dividend percentage per share, is the same for the associate and the regular. You are given the free choice if you want to become an associate or a regular member. 
As said earlier, membership subscription, 1,000 pesos per share, and there is an annual or yearly fee of 1,000 pesos to help defray operating expenses. You can pay in full or in installment. Meaning, kung sasali lang po kayo sa pinaka-minimum na number, halimbawa ay one share, pwede kayo magbayad ng full payment, 2,000 pesos, you are right away a full-pledged KSK Co-op member with one share. Or in installment, halimbawa 500 pesos a month, after four months that you have paid 500 pesos per month, then you will become a full-pledged KSK Co-op member with one share. Again, you can pay in full, you can pay in installment. 